Today we will do a few simple experiments on flotation and sinking. When I place this ball in water, it simply floats. Now can I sink this ball to the bottom of the fish tank without physically touching it? It looks impossible. Let's try. You will need a fish tank full of water, a plastic ball and a transparent cylindrical glass. When I place the ball in water, it floats. When I press the ball downwards with my hand, the ball bounces back to the surface. This is because of the larger upthrust of the water. Now how can we sink the ball to the bottom of the fish tank without touching the ball physically? Now place the inverted glass on the ball and press the glass downwards. Slowly the ball will also go downwards along with the glass and now the ball is touching the fish tank base. On lifting the glass, the ball will rise to the surface again. Now, With the help of the glass, I could make the ball float to any water height. I press the glass down with the ball. See, the ball is floating on the surface in the beginning. Now it's in the middle and now finally it's at the bottom. Now we'll see this in a close-up. Now the ball is on the surface and when I press it down it's floating in the middle and finally the ball is at the very bottom of the fish tank. We will repeat this experiment with a plastic bottle. Cut the top of the bottle and make a hole in its base. With my finger I can close and open the hole. After closing the hole I can push the ball to the fish tank base. See this. Now slowly I will open the hole. The water level in the bottle will rise and the ball will also float higher and higher. On closing the hole the ball will float in the middle. On opening the hole completely the ball will float to the surface of the water tank. Now I close the hole and lift the bottle above the water level. See the bottle filled with water is now lifted up. On opening the hole, the water from the bottle will drain out and the ball will float on the surface.